Good morning, Randy, K7AGE. April Fool's Day. <laughs> this is no April Fool's. It's, it's going to happen today. We're going to start putting the, the beam up on there. The rain has stopped for a couple days here in Southern Oregon. Uh, we're doing okay. This is during the, I don't know, we haven't got to the peak yet in the virus thing, but we're doing okay and staying away. Although I do have a neighbor coming up here in a little bit to help me get the boom mounted on the mass. So, so last time I talked about a couple things I was going to be doing to the tower and uh, I have done those. I uh, cleaned up the threaded rod. I cleaned off all the oil and grease that was on there and I then co coated it with the recommended um, grease from, um, uh, from Heights Tower. I've started uh, painting some of the steel. I used uh, this rust I should drop in a picture of that, this rust uh, converter, and then use Rust-Oleum. I got another coat to do, but I'd rather work on the antenna today than painting. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, the extra nuts. Yeah, I got the extra nuts in the, uh, the base of the tower, and that was a little bit of a project. My neighbor came up, and because uh, I couldn't get the nuts in there, the threaded rod comes up, and then there's uh, the big U piece and the tower leg and I couldn't get it in there. So I tilted the tower over and then my neighbor with his little tractor, we put a strap on it and we lifted the tower up about an inch, loosened up the top nuts, I loosened, pulled the tower up about an inch. I said, don't move. And I got my fingers in there and I put the second nut on. So thank you. I forget who told me. Uh, I've, so thank you. I forget who suggested that, that fix or that change. So I think there's four things, but you know, I got CRS. What can I say? So, but beautiful day. Ken from JK Antennas suggested I take this off, put the U-clamps on the uh, boom, and just slide it down over here. So I'm going to take this off. The coax is just temporary here anyway. Okay, so I've hooked up the rotor, and what I need to do is, is take and rotate the rotor so it's pointing in the direction of the tower here. So when I lift it up, the antenna will be pointing in that direction. So I have my compass out here and I'll get a reading. So it's just about 270 degrees. So it doesn't have to be perfect because of the two element beam, it, the pattern's pretty broad. So let me hook up the rotor and get that turned around to 270. Okay, so I spun the uh, mast around so it's 270 degrees. And these are the, on the U-bolts that uh, JK Antennas that Ken supplies. He, he wanted me to, you know, just take a look at this a little bit. These are, these are brackets or clamps that he has made, and it's flat through the uh, through the bend area here, and it's also been uh, been serrated or some type of pattern on here to give it more uh, grip. So we're going to put these on the antenna and then slide it down over the mast. Pick up, slide it right on there. Yeah. It's got to be spun around. Spun around? Yep. Pull completely around? Yep. The gray thing's got to go. Okay, it's got to go your way a little bit. And down. There we go. Okay. Step out of the way. We'll slide it down. Whoop. <laughs> You want to slide it down or just leave it right there? I want to slide it down. How far? Oh, more. 
right about there. Okay. We got her there if you want to get your wrench. Now, so you can tighten them and clear down now? Yeah. And you've got a lot of stuff to put on here. You've got a wire you got to hook up to that. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> One, one right after another. I have to make up all the cables. Oh boy. I gotta figure out the the loop so when it rotates there's enough slack. <laughs> yeah, you might have to get a deeper socket. Oh, well, that should work. I don't have any deeper. <laughs> okay, you can probably let go. Well, this gotta be straight. Straight up close right there. Got it. There we go. That should be now. Oh. Ta-da! Just need to tighten it up now. So I have that on there good and tight now. And I need now to bring all the elements up from the basement. Well, I've moved everything around. Getting ready to put the elements on. Have my sawhorses set up here put a couple screws in so they don't go rolling down the hill and uh, I'm going to work on is putting on the elements now probably working from here this one and that one and then uh, maybe run the tower back up spin it around and drop it back down and work on some of the other ones out of sight there so I have my tools and if you remember from my video put, making up the elements I put the hardware on the ends here that'll go onto there. So let me take the hardware off. I need to put the uh, goop on the thread so it doesn't gall up. And the other goop inside the elements here to make good contact. Take the hardware off. Okay, these are the 15 meter reflector elements. I'll just slide in here. And I want to have all the all the screw heads go up because on the side facing me is the larger hole. Okay, there's that one. The second one. This one's a little harder. There it goes holes to line up there we go and the, the bolt goes in from this side that was the second one and tighten them up just needs to be snug these are nylock washers okay it's a 15 meter Reflector. I can take the labels off of my tape. Okay, double checking the manual. This is the 12 meter reflector position 12R, 12R. Take the hardware off. Make sure I got some anti anti C's. I'm just going to call it anti freeze, anti C's on there. That's fine. Ooh, my finger on it. Ugh. This is messy. Messy, messy. Here's my Penetrox. And I'm just going to wipe that around in there. And I twist that around. It gets coated. Get my screws or my bolt heads facing up. All right, for the next one. There we go, got those lined up. Is a 17 meter reflector, but I'm not gonna show you mounting them all on. They all go the same way. So we pause, get that one on. Okay, I'm raising the tower. I'll spin the beam around 180 and drop it back down. Put some more elements on. Okay, spinning the antenna around. Have it on slow speed. Let me speed it up. Uh, 
that's a little too far. Bring it back. About there. And run the tower back down. Okay, now I'm gonna work on mounting the driven elements. You can see here's where the ballon is and the transmission line. So everything here are the driven elements. So this one is the 10 meter driven element. I have the pieces here, the hardware off. So I'm gonna goop up all of these right now. Save some time. It's starting to get nasty looking out. May get rained out here. Start the sprinkle. Okay, screw head facing up. 12 meter. And I do one more. Put the 17s on and call it quits. Dry that off of my thing here. And I get these all tightened up. That's all for today. I'm shutting down, taking the camera inside. Well, I got rained out yesterday. It really started coming down. By the time I get everything packed up and under cover, the sun came back out. So the next thing on the this to do is the 20 meter elements. It's the winds come up a lot. I don't have a little muff for the lavalier mic, so. Um, but you've seen me put on uh, the elements. So I'm gonna put the 20s on, and then we'll come back and I think look at the six meter. Okay, time to mount the six meter driven element. This goes on the bracket here of, that's shared with the 15 meter driven element. I have a mark here for the center. So this is gonna go on this side. Go through there. Not get another clamp. Okay, the other side's gonna mount on here. Clamp half of the clamp and I put the NAC's compound on the, the threads so let me get another set of bolts and nuts there's that one I'll come around to the back side so I can find my center line Line that up with the center of okay, it's sliding around a little bit, so I'll recenter it. And again, just doing about a turn, turn and a half or so, working my way through all these so I don't gall anything up. Then the uh, the bolt will, the nut will freeze. That'll probably ruin your day. Balance. You don't want to tighten them real tight because you can, if you over tighten them, you may pop the bolt head through the, through the outside clamp. Okay, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> mount the second one that's down below here, off camera, and we'll get on to something else. The last four elements on this end of the boom. So here is the 15 meter driven element. And this is the six meter driven element. And you notice that the 15 meter one is connected to the transmission line, whereas the six meter one is not. So this is a parasitic coupling, I believe between the 15 and the 10, or the 15 and the six. I may be wrong. Down here is the 10 meter director, and in front of it, below it, is the six meter director. So what I need to do now is run the tower back up, turn this around, and the last element to go on is the 20 meter reflector. Directors, reflectors, driven outlets. 
you got to pay attention. Okay, so it's spun around and now it's time to mount the 20 meter driven elements, the last set. Slide these in. I try to keep the holes lined up here so you can see how far. And here's the screw heads or the bolt heads here. So I'm just going to run that around here a couple times. Tools. And there we go. All the elements are mounted now. Okay, I'm done for today. I think that's about all for this video. The beam is basically complete. I don't have a cable up. I don't have cables that would allow it to turn. So that'll be part of the, probably the next video, starting to work on the cables. I just put my Diamond X50 back on the top there. I can just barely reach that. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. It's been great having you follow along on the, this series of building the JK antennas. It's their Navassa 5 with the 6 meter option and uh, time to get the tower back up, clean up the tools and figure out something else to do. Thanks for watching. Randy K7AGE. Oh, if you like me, please give a thumbs up and you can follow me on Twitter. You'll usually see some photos of the projects before the video. So 73 for now. <laughs>